would often talk about the fact that the majority of her 30 years, she served in the minority. But even in serving in the minority, she was able to get things done. She wasn't just your run-of-the-mill politician. She was someone who really had a bigger and deeper calling when it came to service. She believed in this work. It really wasn't until I got to Congress myself uh, that I understood just how much she had already done uh, for our region. Uh, and her fingerprints are all over our community uh, in terms of transportation, in terms of infrastructure investments, uh, in terms of advancements in science and technology and bringing home research dollars to North Texas. She was responsible for so much of that. She really made a mark on Dallas. Uh, she did so much for the city when she went to Congress. And of course, she served there for so many years. And and she produced results. And if you're any one of us who enjoys so much of what we take for granted in North Texas, you know, at some point the next week, when you say your prayers or whatever you do, or give thanks for whatever you're going to do for the new year, you should utter the name Eddie Bernice Johnson and express a word of gratitude to her. I know her family would so appreciate your prayers. They have not yet released funeral arrangements. You can watch full interviews, plus read the dozens of tributes to Eddie Bernice Johnson on our website, WFAA.com.